If you need any Ultimate Team coins, head over to footcoinking.com. There's a link in the description. And if you use my discount code CHES, C-H-E-S, as you can see on screen, you'll get yourself an extra 5% off. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again with another episode of the Dortmund Career Mode here on Xbox One. It's episode number 10. We're into double digits for this series now. And you guys have been showing it some huge support. So definitely smash that like button if you enjoy the video. That'd be really kind of you. If we could get over 200 again, we keep hitting 200 likes on this series and the My Player series as well. Which is just absolutely fantastic. I cannot thank you enough for the support you guys are showing this series. I am most definitely going to continue this into at least a second season. You guys seemed very, very keen on the idea when I mentioned it in yesterday's commentary so uh, that is the plan now we will try and make sure that we can get Dortmund as many trophies as possible in a two or three year spell rather than this opening one season idea that we had when we started but we unfortunately get off to a rather poor start here against Stuttgart going 1-0 down after four minutes so uh, we had to come back onto the front foot as we uh, we headed further into the first half we had a corner here Gundogan kind of picks up the pieces finds Mkhitaryan that was drifting into the bottom corner there it needed a save down low and the goalkeeper did very well to get down to it but Michael Royce is going to whip the ball in again. Up goes Mats Hummels. And again, all right, the goalkeeper. Great reactions to jump up and uh, pick the ball up and then showed the... Uh, the presence of mind to be able to stop himself falling backwards over the line but we came on the offensive yet again Aubameyang shows great feet to get around the outside defender it's going to stand the ball up or at least attempt to into uh, into the box but again it's put by defender we get another corner so we can all right pull the uh, save out of the bag yet again ball comes in Kadira goes up good header and all right is there again let's have a fourth corner then shall we 34 minutes in this time it's Alessio Cherchi on the ball, whips it in, and the determination from Mats Hummels to get on the end of that cross was absolutely second to none. A superb header, a really, really fantastic goal. Extremely pleased that you guys made the decision to keep Mats Hummels at the club because he's been solid as a rock for us at the back. A fantastic defender that definitely does help out when it comes to scoring goals as well. Unfortunately, though, that pass from uh, from Piszczek was blocked and it meant that Sami Kadira had to go up for a header there and he kind of fell awkwardly on his elbow. It is going to pick up an injury. So he's going to be out for nine days, I think it was. You'll be able to see as it pops up. It's a bruised elbow. So uh, I had to sub him off for Nuri Shaheen and unfortunately he will be out for just a, a couple of weeks or so. He won't be playing in the next game. Maybe he'll uh, see some football at the end of the episode. I can't quite remember whether he was back in his starting lineup. But you can see he fell kind of awkwardly after the Challenging in the air for that header. And there's no surprise that he injured his elbow there. But they were able to come back at us in the second half. Werner gets in behind here. Good save down low by Weidenfeller. And uh, we can't quite get it clear. Bizovic plays the ball back out to Roush. Turns inside the defender well. Squares it and Werner again with a second effort. And this time it's a goal line clearance from the defender. And we are able to breathe a sigh of relief. And Marco Royce is on the attack. 15 minutes to go. Henrik Mkhitaryan on the edge of the box. Shows great feet to get away from one defender. Great feet to get away from two. Aubameyang tries to do the defender with a dummy, he doesn't buy it Fabio Coentrao goes up with a header he comes back off one post, across the goal line, in off the other post what's the goalkeeper here from the replays he doesn't move, as soon as it hits the first post, he just stands there, look at him he just stands there and does not move whatsoever it's defender trying to get it out, and you'll see from the, this second replay, the ball doesn't fully cross the line until it comes off the second post, the spin brings it back in towards the other one Fortunately, it hits the uh, the other post and goes in rather than bouncing up. I made a couple of changes. Sterling and Grosskreutz coming on for Mkhitaryan and uh, and uh, Marco Royce. So uh, we were strengthening up top just to try and hold the ball uh, up the uh, the other end of the pitch to get it away from them, to be completely honest. But they were actually able to uh, to have a chance before the game was out. Fortunately, Weidenfeller was on hand to make a good save. And we remained at 2-1. And that is how the game was going to finish. We get all three points from this one against Stuttgart. A very, very good win. A win that we needed considering the league position as it stands. We come back to the Champions League. And we had an absolute comeback of love yesterday against Manchester United. In, uh, in the Champions League. If you missed yesterday's episode, there is a link in the screen on the uh, the bottom left-hand side of your picture to take you to it so you can catch up. Of, of course, feel free to check the channel page for, for anything you may have missed over the past few days. But last time we played Real Sociedad away from home, we dominated possession, but... They were able to get themselves a breakaway goal and we lost the game 1-0. As you can see, we currently sit bottom of the group with Real Sociedad. That win over us is their only three points. And our win in yesterday's episode over Man United is our only three points. We almost got off to a fantastic start here. Adrian Ramos played in behind. Kind of forced a little bit wide by the defender but managed to turn back inside. Gets a shot away but it's straight at Claudio Bravo. I was really disappointed with that finish. I expected better from Adrian Ramos. 
But there wasn't going to be his last chance of the game and he's going to play a very, very important role in the latter stages of this game. But Antoine Griezmann is going to tear me apart here. The guy's feet are just absolutely ridiculous. I can't get anywhere near him and he pops the ball into the bottom corner. A tidy finish after a really nice run. I'm really envious of Antoine Griezmann and if we are going to do more than one season here, he may be a player that I'm interested in bringing into the club. We'll have to wait and see at a later date as we head through this season and into the second one whether we can bring him him in but made two changes nearer the beginning of the second half Chelsea and Gundogan coming on for Shaheen and Kevin Volland because we needed a goal not only did we need one it would have been nice if we could pick up two as well but Antoine Griezmann breaking into the box finds Michu great turn and a tidy finish that makes it Real Sociedad two Borussia Dortmund nil in the 65th minute so we needed another ultimate comeback in the Champions League Joic just a couple of minutes after they went 2-0 up, is on the ball here. Plays a nice lob through ball over the top to Raheem Sterling. Great turn inside. Finds Adjo and Ramos. Bang. Into the back of the net. It goes 68th minute. We're back at 2-1. The deficit is only a singular goal now. And we've got 25 minutes to find ourselves an equaliser, if not a winner. Great first touch from Sterling. Adjo and Ramos shows the sense and uh, positional awareness to hold his run on the edge of the box, make sure that he's got some space around him for Raheem to find him, and he puts the ball into the back of the net. And we're just three minutes from time now, because there was going to be two or three added on. We're into the 90th minute. Alessio Church, he's just trying to find a pass. I can't find anyone. He finds Ramos on the edge of the box. It squirms its way into the bottom corner, and Adrian Ramos is the hero here. Ramos redemption better than Luis Suarez's because we needed that goal more so than anything else and it's really unfortunate as you can see from the replay it took a huge deflection off the defender heartbreak for Sociedad because not only did we need to make sure we didn't lose this game Sociedad needed to make sure that they got a win as well both of us needed a win really to help push our Champions League uh, dream onto the next step because we now, we, now, we now need a win against the Red Half of Manchester and Napoli if we're to win the group outright and uh, if we can at least get what perhaps four points from those two games we may just sneak into second place as long as we can come at least third then uh, we know we'll still have some European football this season because of course we'll be entered into the Europa League so fingers crossed we can maintain our Champions League run though that is the most important thing and we come up in the third and final game of the episode against Wolfsburg away from home now this is a massive game you'll see from the league table they currently sit third directly behind us just a point behind us even though we have a game in hand so if they win this, they'll go above us. If we win it, we'll pull four points clear of them in second place. And we need to not lose, uh, you know, not lose pace behind uh, Schalke at the top of the table because they're running away with it so far. We really need to step our game up. But in the Bundesliga, we've been playing okay. We've uh, only lost one game all season. We've drawn a couple, but we have won the rest. We are in good form, and hopefully that can continue here. Piszczek finds the ball over the top to uh, Alessio Cerci and Aubameyang gets himself behind the line but not the ball as well unfortunately the goalkeeper came out and was just about able to beat him to it Marco Royce is going to get in behind here and what's the touch off his chest I've no idea how his chest has been able to generate that much power and uh, that heavier touch off that uh, off that first touch but unfortunately it went straight to the goalkeeper and again it was just inches away from beating the uh, the goalkeeper to it but we stay at nil nil and again Aubameyang slots the ball through to Gundogan question a handball just about pokes it Ahead of the goalkeeper does get there first, but the woodwork denies him. So we still stay at 0-0. We did really, really well, actually, to race onto that. It kind of got away from him with that second touch. Just gets there with the toe poke on the left foot, but it hits the base of the post and goes out for a goal kick. So we still need that extra chance to get ourselves a goal here, if we possibly can. Alessio Church, he steals it away from the man. Great feat to get around one man. Plays the ball outside to Marco Royce. Can he get a decent telling cross? The ball comes in. Gundogan's on the end of it. Here's the bar. Drops down on the line. A melee in the box. And the referee points to the penalty spot. And I thought it was a foul on Gundogan. But if you watch the arm of Naldo here, he'll go down in a heap and watch the ball. And watch Naldo's right arm as it comes out. He just bats it down there with his hand. I think the referee gave it for handball more so than a foul. As he bats that down, almost trying to bounce it like a basketball. And the referee deemed it enough of an offence to give us the penalty. And Marco Royce is going to step up. Can he get it into the top left-hand corner? You bet your arse he can. It's, I almost said Birmingham then. It's Borussia Dortmund 1, Wolfsburg 0. Where did Birmingham come from? Absolutely no idea. But we need to maintain this lead if we possibly can. Because Wolfsburg, like we've seen, are a very, good, very, very good team. As we've seen from the My Player series. And uh, they score a lot of goals. And we need to make sure that they don't score any now. Because we need a win from this one. I really don't want to drop to third. And I don't want to lose any more pace on or any more of a gap between ourselves and Schalke at the top of the table. And Hummels is 
uh, presence on the shoulder of Luis Gustavo there to uh, to go along with the fact that it was on his weaker right foot did just enough to make it slide off his boot and go past the post rather than into the top corner we had to rely on Roman Weidenfeller or Weidenfeller I always forget which way it's said I think it's Weidenfeller um, we have to rely on our goalkeeper there to uh, to stop Ivica Olic from getting them back into the game but Mkhitaryan plays a good ball around the corner to, uh, to Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang he's got a man dropping on the edge of the box it's Alessio Cerci and Banaglio gets down to make a good save and remains 1-0 with 10 minutes to go we're pushing on towards the end of the game now still not long left Gundogan shows great strength to get the ball back off uh, the Wolfsburg midfielder great ball over the top by Nuri Shaheen Alessio Cerci's in behind and he can't find the shot on target unfortunately Banaglio is able to, uh, to palm it clear and we are though able to get all three points which is exactly what we needed from that game despite our Champions League uh, campaign kind of stumbling a little bit we're still on track in the Bundesliga only four no sorry only five points behind Schalke and in fact the very next game we have to play in the Bundesliga is against FC Schalke so uh, we've got a very big episode coming tomorrow feel free to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already so you don't miss out on it of course there's plenty of this series there'll be a my player later on tonight as well and there was uh, Dor not Dortmund's this is Dortmund. There was a Luis Suarez Road to Redemption episode uploaded last night. Of course, there was Dortmund yesterday, and there will, be, will have been a link in the bottom left-hand side of your picture or video along to take you to. Or, of course, as we head to the end slate, it will now be on the right-hand side of your screen. And uh, there's also an annotation there if you want to sub or uh, a link in the description. There's also links in the description to my Twitter and to my Instagram as well if you want to follow me on either of those social platforms. And, of course, use my code CHES at checkout. C H E S at footcoinking.com to get yourself some ultimate team coins there is a link in the description but that's going to bring this one to a close guys thank you very much for watching hope you're having a good week so far fingers crossed you uh, you're on the rundown of your uh, your school year you should be finishing for your summer holidays soon so i look forward to uh, to having you all on a more regular basis that'd be absolutely superb but for now that's all for today thank you very much for watching guys and i'll see you next time